Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle and today we are going to talk about the Nenka Runner Neo Bluetooth Bone Conduction Headphones. So I've had the Runner Neo for the better part of three weeks and that's because when I posted my review of the runner diver, Nenka got back in touch with me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing, like, this is probably their next generation range of headphones, which the runner Neo is part of. So it comes in green, gray, and red colorways. It weighs about 30 grams. You can charge it from zero to 100% for two hours wirelessly and i will show you that wireless charger in a bit it comes with 10 hours playback from that charging so quite long it's ip66 waterproof so that means it's sweat proof moisture proof dust proof if you want to pick the runner neo up for 15 percent off my discount code is in the info box down here or i will say it out loud later as i close this video review so you can watch on if you want to learn more about the Runner Neo, or you can head right down to the info box, find the link, and buy it for yourself. Up to you. I have here the Runner Diver, which was my previous review of a Nenka Bone Conduction headphone, and this is the Runner Neo. Like I said, it comes in a red colorway. This one, I can't recall. I think it might just come in gray. Okay. There you go. So if you're a bit more like if you want to do some more fashion with your um, electronic accessories, well, then I would I know this is my obvious pick. But of course, the runner diver, you see this little tab here. This makes it even more swim proof. So this is highly waterproof. You can swim with it and you can listen to music with it. It also has its own onboard storage so you can store music files on it and that's the only way actually that you can swim with music while wearing the runner diver is to store the music files locally with the runner neo it's a bit more lightweight you need to connect it to either a smartphone or a smart watch with onboard music storage so that you can listen to tunes on this Obviously, because the waterproof rating is a little lower, you can't swim with it either. The runner diver is about five grams heavier. This is 35, 36 grams, and this is just 30 grams. Now, when you're talking about grams of weight and holding it in your hands, it doesn't really feel like much. But when you hook the headphone onto your head, when it hangs on the ears and on the sides of your head, that five grams can add up to a lot. And so that I found that the Runner Neo is more comfortable to wear over longer workouts or over longer periods of time. I think I spent maybe 90 minutes wearing this at the gym. I wasn't working out for that full 90 minutes, but I did wear it for 90 minutes. It felt like there was nothing. I wasn't wearing anything. Um, with the runner diver, wearing this for about an hour while running outside, I did feel some fatigue around the ear area afterwards. I'm not sure if it was because of the workout I was doing or if it was because of the extra weight. I might need to do weights with my ears in that case. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. The next difference is that the runner diver charges with an electrical port like this so you need to make contact with the metal pins on its charger whereas the runner neo has a wireless cradle a wireless charger so this is the cradle the side of the headphone with the volume control buttons is the side that comes on onto that cradle it's magnetically I mean, it sticks magnetically and then it will charge wirelessly. On the other end of it is a USB port. So you can either plug this into a laptop or a USB charger or use a wall adapter. Yep. So it takes two hours to fully charge the Renner Neo. When I was reviewing the Renner Diver and before that the Renner Pro, I wasn't really thinking about 
really great sound quality. I just wanted something functional, something that I could listen to tunes on while I was working out. And obviously when you're working out, you're not really listening for finer details in the music. So I didn't really pay attention to the audio driver quality of the, those bone conduction headphones. I, I can tell you that they were pretty good and they were on par with other bone conduction headphones that are on the market. But with the Runner Neo, and maybe it's because I'm growing also as a music enthusiast, but when I was wearing these, I noticed that the sound was crisper. Another thing while I was running with this and listening to music, um, suddenly I could, I could hear a little bit more panoramic sound. Like there was a, a nuance in the sound and what I didn't understand and then I listened carefully was that it was actually a chorus line in the background and I had not heard or paid attention to it prior to using the Runner Neos. So it's, I want to say that, that the sound feels a bit, little bit more detailed um this time around i did not however compare it compare the runner diver and the runner neo if um if they were both actually of the same sound quality but i have to say that i was quite impressed with the runner neo and i found it quite pleasant to listen to music and do my workout and actually you know hear there was a different like melody line in the background that I had not heard in that particular song that suddenly I could hear it on the Renault Neo. So yeah, and that's something that's, that I hadn't experienced in a bone conduction headphone actually, you know, because with bone conduction, you do tend to lose a little bit of the details in the music. You can lose the bass, you can lose the trebles. So this one I was quite impressed that it still all came through. Now this one also comes with a, its own microphone. It's the two microphones and that's because it can noise cancel because you can accept phone calls while wearing this. Generally, the audio is on par with other headphones that I've used with smartphones. I don't normally accept phone calls while wearing these. It's just my thing. I don't use it for office work or commute work or whatever like that but it's pretty good noise cancellation um, people couldn't really hear what was going on around me while I was wearing these so if you're in a gym and the in-house music is quite loud and then suddenly you need to accept a phone call on these people won't quite catch on quickly that you're at the gym because they will, will probably not hear the house the in-house music Okay, another difference between the Runner Diver and the Runner Neo, if you check, and this is a very, very small difference, but you'll see that this has a wider um, neck loop versus the Runner Neo. Mm. So if you have a smaller head, the Runner Neo is probably going to be more comfortable. The Runner Diver did tend to kind of like splay out on the back when I was wearing it. So this one stays closer to the nape of my head. Now, obviously, people will have different head shapes. So, and, and it's quite small difference. I will say, however, that the runner diver feels a little bit um, stiffer on the neck band compared to the runner neo. So this one has, I think it has a bit more lightweight construction and that's probably because the runner diver is waterproof whereas this is only sweatproof. So the Runner Neo retails for currently on the website it's at 6,205 pesos and 46 cents. That's already a tag of 15% off savings even if you don't apply my promo code. Um, but if you do click on the website and there is no um, there's no discount already applied then you can use my promo code and my promo code for purchasing the Nenka Runner Neo is Noel all right just make sure that you spell it properly so you can get that 15% off 
So inside the box of the Nenka Runner Neo, <laughs> this box is really nice. Um, so this is where the Runner Neo is hooked in. So this is just a little uh, storage plate. You can pull it off. And inside you'll have a fold out tab which will have the box which contains this is where the wireless charger was before I opened the box and then it also contains a pair of earplugs this silicon um, link which you can use if your head is quite small and this doesn't quite fit properly you can use it to tighten the neckband just a little bit more so just you loop it around like this push through the little loop so it attaches so it attaches like this and then you do it the other side as well and this basically just tightens the neckband um, I mean, it's already small for me, but if if you have a smaller head, then it tightens that neck back a little bit more. Okay, so that's a silicon adjustment band, I suppose. That's what I can call it. And then also inside the box is three pairs of sound enhancers. That's what they call them. But basically... This goes into the little crevice in your ears, like so. I guess that's how it goes. And it kind of blocks off more sound. So if you want a more focused sound experience when you're listening to music using the Runner Neo, which we're going to try to do, I'll show it to you. So you hook the runner neo over your ears. I have hair over that. There we go. Loop through the ears. Okay, so this is the runner neo as worn on the head and the ears. And then if you're going to use the sound enhancers, they go into the opening of your ear tunnel like so. And it doesn't block sound completely, actually. It just dampens it a little so that you can focus on the music more. And this also helps when you're in, a, let's say, a noisy cafe situation. Let's say that you're working out of office, you're working at a cafe. Obviously, the cafe will have piped in sound, but you want to listen to your own tunes. So you're going to put the Renner Neo on. It's a bone conduction headphone. If you don't close off your ear canals like this, um, it's going to let in a lot of ambient sound, which is great if you're exercising outdoors and you want to hear everything, or if you are in a personal training situation, you have a personal trainer telling you what to do, but you want to listen to your own music in the background, then that's fine. You can wear the Runner Neo without the sound enhancers. But, I tried it once. I was trying to attend a teleconference call in a cafe while wearing the Runner Neos and I couldn't hear a thing. And unfortunately at the time, I forgot to bring my sound enhancers. That's what these are for. They're just for a little extra sound dampening when you want to use the Runner Neo for, yeah, for more focused work. Like I said, I was personally impressed with the sound quality while I was doing my workouts uh, as a Bluetooth headphone or bone conduction headphone. It stayed on my head quite well. Um, I actually could lie down on my back while wearing it. It does change the sound a little when the neck band compresses and it moves these, um, these pads away from the fronts of your ears away from the area they usually sit to conduct sound through your bone. 
But yeah, I wasn't planning to be lying down on my back anyway for a long period of time. That was just shavasana while doing yoga. So yeah, these are perfect for when you're doing active workouts. They're great for listening to music while trying to hear the sound around you as well. With the sound enhancers, they can be great for working in slightly noisier environments. They have sound cancellation mics as well, so you can take calls while wearing the Nenka Runner Neos. Do check out the Nenka Runner Neo on the Nenka website. The link is down below as well. And if you want to pick them up and get 15% off on the regular price, use my promo code NOEL. It's probably on sale right now if you click through to the website, so you don't have to use the code. But if you see that there is no slash off, no 15% off applied, then please use my code. I don't get anything out of it. I just want you to get good bang for your buck, bone conduction headphones. And I find that the Nenka Runner Neo is definitely a great option. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this informative, if you found this entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel so I can see you again next time. Bye!